How do I use Robits in FRC? Robits is an Imperial building system designed specifically for FTC, but it has a number of components that are cross-compatible with FRC building systems you may already know and use. Robits parts are designed as part of a whole system that allows you to put together anything from a small robot to a FRC mechanism to a prototype of something. There are all sorts of things you can do with Robits. Robits parts operate on a half-inch pitch number 10 hole grid using half-inch tube, one-inch tube, and a variety of plastic parts that interface between the two. These plastic parts are very strong, but not necessarily built for all of the loads an FRC robot might experience. So when using plastic parts in your FRC robots from the Robots build system, make sure to use them in lower load applications or an application where that part won't break or fracture or otherwise not meet the specifications you might need for that mechanism. Robits primarily uses this half by half tube for its structural interface and is pretty similar to what you might find in a lot of FRC building systems, similar to like pre-drilled one by one, two by one, that sort of thing. And it'll interface directly with its half inch pitch with any one inch or half inch build system. The half inch pitch is particularly good for small scale projects, small scale mechanisms, prototyping, anything where you need to move an imperial distance along a tube for structure, um, but don't want to permanently affix it. Uh, the half inch tube is really good for that sort of stuff. It's also pretty strong, very difficult to bend. Uh, so if you need to make a smaller mechanism with some of the smaller tube sizes, Robits tube is perfect for that sort of application. The one by one Robits tube includes holes sized for bushings, which you can put any motion component into. The whole Robit system is designed around 3 8 hex motion transfer, which is something that we see in FRC quite a bit. Certain products will also come in half inch as we have specifically designed the system to also be able to be used in FRC. So for something like the servo adapter, uh, it'll come in a 3 8 or half inch hex variant. There's an entire set of pre-made gussets and brackets designed to work with Robits. So when you're looking at trying to make something very specific or make a plate to join Robits parts together, it may already exist in the Robits system. Robits contains a number of specific Robits gears that are glass filled nylon plastic gears. These hold up to a surprising number of applications. We used them on an FRC robot on my team this year and they were fantastic. They held up the whole season. They're great for robots for mostly low load applications, but if you're just using something in FRC that uh, maybe is lower load or doesn't require interfacing with a steel or aluminum gear, the nylon glass filled gears, excellent use. The Robit servos with the high speed and the high torque do include a half inch pitch number 10 hole pattern, much like the Robit's tube, beams, other build system components. This lets them be used in FRC in a number of places where servos previously required some complicated 3D printed bracket to attach or something that you may have had to CNC to attach a servo. Now you can just attach it directly using the servo flanges. Using the Robit's build system can save you a lot of time when it comes to developing mechanism. You can very finely tune exactly where things are positioned in a certain mechanism and in your prototype, change out gussets, change out plates very quickly, especially if you have something like the Robit's core kit, which comes with a load of all these Robit's parts for you to build from. Overall, Robit's is perfect for use in FRC, whether it's building small mechanisms or saving time when prototyping, Robit's can help you do a lot more with a lot less in first robotics competition. And that is how you use Robits and FRC.